So this is what's going to happen if you don't feed your birds this winter. This angry little mad bluebird here. I'm with Lynn Snodgrass at Drake 7 ds on Stark Street. And we're going to be talking about what some things you can do for wintertime in birds. How are you, Lynn? I'm great. It's <laughs> glad to have you here. Well, it's always thrilling to be here. What we want to do is get as many birds here as possible. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> now, there are some specific things that you need to do in your yard to keep birds in and around your yard. What are some of those? Well, the first thing is to not let your bird feeder go dry. And so what you want to do is choose a food, put your bird feeder out, something like this that's covered, you know, it's Yeah, wide, I noticed this has a big brim on it. And make sure that the food stays in there all the time because when they fly by, they want to eat at your place. They want a banquet or they'll just keep right on going. Yeah, they're not going to wait for reservations, no, are they? No, they won't wait for reservations. <laughs> they don't make reservations. No. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you do that and choose the kind of food that would be appropriate for your home. Got the suet here. You mm -hmm. can do that, a little case. Finch food, any kind of food that you're just consistent in to bring the birds back over and over. And there is an awfully lot of variety of bird food out there. It's There's, not just one or two there types. There absolutely is a lot of variety. So you want to make sure that you do feed them well, but there's other things in your yard that can feed birds as well. Well, and, and I'm, I'm wondering if maybe you're talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> There are certain plants in your yard that attract the birds yes. to your yard, which is always fun. And snowberry is clearly one of them. Snowberry is great. It's going to lose its leaves, but the berries stay on for a long time, mm -hmm. so it has that longer-lasting bird appeal. Yeah, <laughs> and this one with the pink blush is beautiful. Oh, I love that. It's one of my favorite. But we also have some pyracantha here. Yeah, there's that, one right there that's Here we lovely. go, the pyracantha over here. Again, the berries are very attractive to the birds, and we want to make sure that they see them they will see them, but they'll carry them away. And then I'm assuming, too, you would also want to make sure that they have protection, like, you know, plants, something to live in, too. Conifers, evergreen plants are wonderful. So they, they're protection from the weather, but also from predators. Yeah, yeah. They'll hide inside your conifer, a good hinoki, for mm -hmm. instance. They'll be hiding, tucked away in that, or a sequoia. They'll hide in a, in a conifer in your yard. And that, that's perfect for them. And then last of, uh, but all, not least, is uh, just a bird bath of water really isn't enough for winter time. That's true. It's not just enough, and that's because usually bird baths are shallow, sure. so they have a tendency to freeze. So if you've got that water feature in your backyard, it's wonderful uh, circle, if yeah. you will, circle of life for the birds. So they can come and eat, they can dine, they can bathe, and they'll be back. And hide. <laughs> they can hide. You should never, ever uh, consider your yard... Um, a bypass for a bird. Yeah. So if you have dogwood in your yard, they love the dogwood. They love Oregon grape. They like the native plants, but they'll hide in the conifers. And if you've got food for them, they'll they're, be back. They're set for the winter. They are. So if you have any other questions, I, I invite you to come to uh, Drake 7 ds on Stark Street and talk to Lynn and the lovely staff here. And make sure that your garden becomes a place for birds all year round. Thank you so much, dear. <laughs> you bet.